Hi, I'm Dave Fister, head golf professional Clear Creek Tahoe. One of the many challenges in playing golf at Clear Creek is the fact that we have close to 100 bunkers on the golf course. What we'll do today is go over a few simple ideas to help you get out of any bunker that you find yourself in. It's important for this shot that we select a golf club with a lot of loft. I've selected my 58 degree wedge, but you can choose anything from 56 degrees up to 60. Here's a quick list of things to check in your setup. First, I wanna make sure that I have a solid base underneath me. So I dig my feet slightly into the sand to make sure that I'm on solid ground and that the sand isn't gonna be shifting underneath me as I make the swing. Next, I wanna favor my left side. So as a right-handed golfer, I want my weight primarily on my left leg. So 60, 70% on my front leg. We have the ball forward in my stance, close to my left heel, similar to where you would have the, the ball in your stance if you, were ha if you had a driver in your hand. Next, I wanna have a neutral shaft. And what that means is the shaft is gonna be more perpendicular to the ground. I don't wanna have my hands leaning too far forward this way, because that's going to encourage the club to dig into the sand as we make the swing. Another thing that we can do is open the club face a little bit, add a little bit more loft to make it easier to get the ball up in the air and out of the bunker. And the last thing that we're going to do in setup is to offset that open club face that we have is I'm going to aim slightly left of my target. Now we're ready to discuss the technique of how to hit this shot. But first, it's important to understand that we're not actually trying to hit the ball. We're trying to hit the sand and allow the sand to carry the ball out of the bunker. I try to think of hitting the sand with enough speed and enough force to carry the sand out of the bunker. And what we're going to do is we're gonna practice making swings doing exactly that. So I can get set up here exactly in the way that we talked about before and take some practice swings. And all I'm gonna to try to do is get the sand out of the bunker. Okay, so a slow, easy swing, if I were to do that, isn't gonna get the sand out of the bunker. If I have my hands too far forward and I dig, that's gonna go too deep and that's not gonna get the sand out of the bunker either. But what I'm looking for is more of a stroke like this, where we actually get the sand out of the bunker. The key to this stroke is maintaining speed through the sand. As soon as the club hits the sand, it's gonna start slowing down. So you may need to hit with a little bit more speed than you would if you were on the grass from a similar distance. Okay, focusing on getting the sand out of the bunker keeps us from getting too concerned about the mechanics of the swing. So practice making a couple swings where we're just feeling like we're trying to get the sand out of the bunker and onto the green. And once we're successful in doing that, then place a ball down and do the same thing. Focus on getting the sand out of the bunker rather than the ball. And if you're able to do that, the ball should come out with it. This is an extremely simple technique that will work in most cases. If you master this, then you'll gain the confidence necessary to play from any bunker. Give it a try and let me know how it works.